Before today's vlog starts, I wanna let you guys know that the Hun Company Black Friday sale has officially started. Everything you see behind me is marked up to 80% off. You can get $15 shirts, $30 sweatshirts, $15 hats. The biggest sale in Hun Company history is live right now. What we have on the shelves is what we are selling and once it's gone, it's gone forever. So take advantage of the lowest prices you will ever see. Thank you for coming back to the daily vlog. This video was actually filmed a week and a half ago. I totally forgot to upload it and it's part of the 240 series, the 240 saga. So I wanted to go ahead and include it. The car is already off at paint, but this was the prep work that we did before it got to paint that I never ended up showing you guys. So enjoy today's video. Click the links down below, head over to the sale, check it out, pick up whatever you want because once it's gone, it's gone forever. Enjoy today's video. It's time to clean up this whole entire bay. The last episode you guys saw, we pulled the motor and trans, which already got sold. One of you guys bought that thing really quick, so shout out to you. We're gonna be cleaning this bay up because it has all of the 20 years of gunk left over. And Calvin and I left an absolute mess on the floor. We gotta clean all that up today. I mean, let me just give you guys a little representation of what is coated in this car. Oh. There's, oh, why would you do that? There's a whole, for, why would you for educational that? purposes, there was only one way they were gonna really see how much there was, and man, <laughs> is there a lot. But before we get to cleaning, we have to it's start. It's still on your finger, man. It's like you It's like you were wiping, and then it went through the, the teepee, and you got it on your finger, dude. <laughs> is that what happened to you? Uh, no. Okay. You look so comfortable with it on your <laughs> finger, dude. Well, before we clean the bay, we have to start taking everything off of the bay. So everything from our master cylinder, everything to our windshield wipers, to our AC condenser lines. Everything's gotta be removed. That finger, dude. So without further ado, let's roll a time lapse. pieces off of the engine bay. We're going ahead and just cleaning all the stuff up. Like there's just a bunch of like crap up at the top of here. And as we're taking pieces apart, we're making sure that we put them away clean. This is actually very similar to the FD process. And we're doing the same thing with the 240. If you didn't catch those videos, we're pretty much gonna be taking apart every single bolt on this car, stripping every interior piece when we get there. And exterior piece, engine bay piece, all gonna get repainted and looking 100% perfect again. So it's really important for us to take our time during this process and just really clean out all of these pieces. I even have the canister here for the AC and you can see that it's just covered in soot, oil buildup, a whole bunch of crap. And at one point during this video, we're gonna wipe this down, clean it all up, and we're gonna be using a lot of this stuff. This is the Citrus Power Cleaner Plus from Meguiar's. Really is just a uh, clean and safe degreaser that you can use on pretty much everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning up some of this stuff and we'll get back on moving stuff from the engine bay. It's looking beautiful. Guys, if you've never done this before, get yourself a second car, pull a motor, make it look nice, paint the bay yourself. I think he does it all the time. He does it all it's the time. It's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. I don't, you know, we've just been doing time lapses this whole time. It's been a few hours. It's entertaining to try to strip everything and clean, and clean it all up. So this car is disgusting. There is just tons of grime and we actually have a engine bay cleaner that kind of helps break down a lot of this stuff. We'll spray it, let it sit, and then wipe it off. 
We left on the brake master cylinder, stuff like that when it goes to paint, we'll probably just pull a bag over it. Calvin and I were looking at it and we just didn't want to put the effort in taking it out. We stripped the harness out of the passenger side and now we just have the harness that runs through um, and attaches to the fuse box. To take that out, there's just so much extra work, but to get the paint, they can just pull that out of the way and spray it. So we're moving on to the next step. Now that majority is out of the way, we're gonna try to clean this thing up. As you can see, a lot of rust here. I tried vacuuming out this, all of that where I can. This is actually par for the course. So mine, this is actually better than mine. I was able to basically lift mine out in, really? in pieces. The only thing left was this this thing attached to it. Yeah, the only thing that is nice is that, you know, it has this, there's two bolts Dude, that attach to that. Again, but... Tej? I know. That was an accident. That was, <laughs> this one was an accident. I didn't mean to do that one. Now is the fun part and the very, very satisfying part. We're gonna try to clean this down and let's we'll see how it looks. It sucks because it's raining out, my camera's getting soaked, but I wanted to give you guys a little update because I don't know how well you could see it on camera. But I've power washed the right side of the power steering rack and the subframe, and you can literally see the difference. Look at the lines on the power steering rack on the right, and then look at it to the left. I'm getting a good amount of stuff off. Most of the buildup was right here on the frame rails. It can't really tell how much is getting off right now because once it dries, it's still gonna be kind of clumpy and it's not gonna be 100% clean, so we're gonna have to do this like once or twice. Getting some good progress here on the right-hand side or on the left-hand side. A Lot of junk, but I wanted to pause briefly just to show you that because that's pretty cool to see. Love to see progress like that. That is, uh, that is great. Still got a lot more to do, let's keep going. Starting to come down a little bit harder. I'm gonna have to move you guys inside and I will finish up this job. Making really good progress, but I don't want to risk the camera getting too wet. This is now day two. With all the rain that was happening yesterday, it just made working on this really difficult and we needed it to dry to see how good it cleaned. We got here this morning, looked at the car. I'm very, very impressed with how that cleaner worked. I mean, I can pretty much go around the car and have no soot on my fingers. <laughs> there's still a little bit, okay. There's still some gunk on the power steering rack, but I tried to clean most of it. I was talking with Calvin. I think I'll probably just order a new one just because I don't know what that's been through and I wouldn't mind having a brand new power steering rack. At one point before we assemble all the suspension on the car. I think we'll drop the subframe, really clean that up. But nonetheless, I'm excited with how this turned out. Before this thing heads to paint, we're going to go ahead and drill out all of the... Was that a fart or was that a rock under your shoe? Rocking for the both of us? Rock under my shoe. For the both of us, I hope it was not. We're going to go ahead and drill this out and take out this tray. My guess is that all of this is going to crumble apart when we start pulling it, which is going to be kind of interesting to watch. Hopefully, we don't find a big hole right here because that's what I kind of feel if, like If anything, that'd be fine. It's cleaned out. It's ready to go to paint. I'll have them patch all this stuff up and make it look brand new again So if we do a front battery or a trunk mount battery that at least still looks good And if we want to add a tray to that we still can before the Sun goes down today Kevin is joining us and we are gonna do some shots and get some pictures of the Valvoline drop that we have coming up on November 5th 10 a.m. PST don't forget it and if you catch us at SEMA Tuesday first day of SEMA 10 a.m. at the Valvoline booth We're gonna be unveiling the Z because we just did a full 
whole new livery on that car and the whole entire booth of Valvoline is designed around it. And the first 50 people in line at 10 a.m. for the meet and greet will get a car that gives you early access to the drop so you can secure whatever you want before it sells out. I'm gonna leave the info down below as well so you can double check all that stuff and make sure you heard it correctly. There's four shirts, two sweatshirts, and a pair of sweatpants. So we're trying to shoot as much as we can today and utilize the sunlight because it is going down real fast. This is probably my favorite black shirt that we have. We really wanted to try to utilize the red and blue Valvoline V. So on the back of the shirt, you can actually see the key moving forward and you can see the V integrated in the back. I'm just gonna say it's probably one of my favorite shirts that we have for the whole entire job. We always get a bunch of questions if you have female stuff. We don't exactly on this one, but what you can do is what Sabrina always does, she just crops these t-shirts. Pretty much just gets, is this a men's small or men's medium? This is a men's small. It's a men's large. It's a it's men's a small. It's a men's 3XL, okay. But for all the ladies out there, this is also a great option you can always do. Sabrina does it all the time on sweatshirts and on t-shirts, so. Dress it up a little bit with the pants and the shoes. We just finished up the shoot. Literally took a few hours, went to a few different locations. I'm really excited for you guys to get your hands on the Valvoline collab. Today's video is pretty long. It stretched over the span of two days. I probably shouldn't be telling you guys this, but there's a car that my buddy Eot has right now and it's for sale and it's a four door car. It has a Jay-Z in it and I really shouldn't be adding another car to the mix right now when we're in the middle of the S14 build, but I'm really interested in it and I'm talking to him and who knows, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. That gives a little hint as to what's to come in the future eventually because this car just became legal. I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the S14 build and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace out and keep moving forward.